you are welcome to Bose Fashion and Mininary. I'll be teaching us how I achieved this lovely Ashoke headband. If you are just joining us, you are welcome to the family. I would like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel press the notification button so that you can be notified each time I upload new videos. God bless you. As you can see, I have already cut out my Asha Oke. This is 30 inches in three places and I have sewn both edges. So this is three this is of a show okay we cut out 30 inches to sew both edges so now let us get started from one point i'm going to measure 10 inches can you see that and i'm going to start to form a pleat from that side up to my 10 inches as you can see me doing i'm trying to form four pleats can you see that the pleat is going to stop at that 10 inches so i, I have already formed my pleats the next thing to do now is to start to make the inner roses so i'm going to be rolling it inside just the way you see me doing i'll be rolling it make sure you hold it firm so i'm going to be holding it that way and turn you can see make sure you hold it firm so after i have rolled like three to four times i'm going to be tucking it with my needle and tray from behind as you can see me doing we tuck it from behind and as you are tucking make sure your thread is not invisible try as much as possible to hide your thread so after tacking it that way i'm going to continue to roll it in can you see that that is my 10 inches so i'm going to continue you can see me applying little force as i'm doing it so try to apply force to it make sure it is firm i'm going to tap again can you see that make sure your thread is not visible So now, as you can see my line, that is my 10 inches, I'm now at that line. If you look closely, you find out that the line is now slant. Even without you trying to make the slant, it will automatically slant on its own by the time you get to that 10 inches. So I'm still continue with my rolling. Can you see that? I will continue to roll it. <laughs> if you have watched up to this point and you are yet to subscribe to my channel kindly please do so god bless you
Can you see that? I'm still trying to adjust it. So after you have rolled, you tuck it from behind again. You need to be careful so that the needle will not touch your hand. So I'm still continuing to roll. Remember, when you get to this point and it's not slanted, it means you have made a mistake. You can see me trying to adjust that place. So I will now continue slanting it on my own now and try side gently. I'm going to tack that point before I begin with my fan. I'm going to tack it. I'm trying to knot my thread at this point so that I can move it to the other side. So I'll cut it off and move my needle to this side. Can you see that? So I'm going to tack it at that side, all at the back. Can you see that? You have to turn it behind. Turn it behind so that the front can come out very neat. I'm going to start to form my fan. Can you see? It's forming on its own. Then you just have to do it in a way that the fan will show very well. Can you see my fan? So I'm just going to continue with my rolling gently. Can you see that? Let me take that again. At that point, you see that the fan is forming on its own. But you need to adjust it so that it can come out very neat. So that is what I'm trying to do at that point. Can you see that? I've gotten to the end of my actual okay. So I'm going to continue rolling it gently. You can see that this is very, very easy to do. So I will take the hand to the back. I'm going to take it to the back where I'm going to tuck it. You can see the roses has come out lovely and the fun. And you see, I brought my needle the back. I'm trying to adjust it. Yes, I'll roll it back up. Can you see that? I'm trying to adjust my fan as well. So now I'm going to tuck it at the back like this. You can cut the needle from that side so that you'll be able to take it to the other side to tack it. So I'm going to cut that place. Try to avoid your needle from your thread from showing. 
you can see me inserting my needle exactly where it came out from so that my thread will not be visible wow this is lovely this is so beautiful can you see that so i'm going to repeat the same thing to the other two pieces of ashoki try to secure it maybe. yes this is the final look so i will repeat that you can see this is the remaining two so we now have three roses we are going to start attaching it to our Alice band. You can check my previous video on how to cover your Alice band. I'm going to drop the link to the Alice band on that the description of this video. So you can click on it to check how to wrap your Alice band. So let us continue. I'm trying to see how the headband is going to look like. So I place them on it to see whether I'm okay by it. If you are okay with what you are seeing, then you can now start tuck it to the colors. So now you know on the Alice band, I'm going to start tacking now. You can as well use your hot glue gun to achieve this. Yes. I'm just trying to avoid stain. That's why I want to tack mine. You can use your hot glue to do it. And I don't want any error. That is for my Roses falling off my customer's head, so I prefer to tuck it down. So that is what I'm doing. So from the end of the roses, where the fan ends, that's where you are going to start tucking it from. You place it that way on the Alice band and tuck. If you are yet to subscribe, please kindly do so. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. So now you continue to tuck. Make sure your thread is not twisted. Exactly at that point, where the needle came out from, so that your thread will not be visible. Even before I pray. The first one is okay, so I'm going to pick the second one. If you notice very well, you see that the fan is behind, is behind the first one. The fan is behind. So now for me to tap the second one, I'm going to insert my needle inside the Alice band. Can you see that? While I was worried and couldn't sleep, pick the second one. Allow the fan to go behind the first one. 
using the first method you tap the second one I'm done tapping the three so the next thing we are going to do is to close it up with each other can you see that gap we have to close it up so I'm going to use my needle and thread to tap from behind to be very firm with each other so i'm done tacking this is my trimmings you can use any one of your choice so i trim off the circle you see this is another one you can use so i trim off the circle and i placed it on on the roses with the help of my oats glue gun can you see so that is the end product of our ashoki airband it's so lovely don't forget to subscribe i love you bye